Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second part of the Lambretta Series 1 side panels. I've finished off in part one, we've got these prepped to 320. We cut out the vents for the sides for the airflow and we've finished the actual episode off getting these into epoxy primer. Now moving on to part two, the first things we're gonna do on today's video is go back in and prep these again, but down to a P800 wet and dry by 3M. So that's a wet application this time, instead of doing like a dry sand, we'll wet the paper up, wet it over, get a nice flat surface for the base coat. Now the base coat we're using today, the paint supplier is Cars, these are based Essex area, so the one nearest to me is Canby Island, which is closest to me here and where I work. We use these in the body shop, so it's nice and easy for me to order through the body shop, get the paints. I'll leave a link in the description to Cars, really good paint supplier. Check them out, guys, the link's in the description. So that's the base coat we're using. The guns today are gonna be, for base coat is the GTI Pro by Deville Briss. It's a 1.3 setup, and we've got the TE10 cap for base coat. Airbrushes, we'll be using two brands of airbrush. We'll use the Creos PS290, which is a 0.5 mil trigger control. It's got a spot cap and a fan cap, so it's a nice bit of coverage for that gun. We can drop some paint down with that. And then when it comes to the intricate side of things, like a bit more detail, we'll use the Iwata Takumi Eclipse. So they're the airbrushes. Then later on, we'll flip over to a, another bigger gun, which will be Iwata which is a W400 Bellaria 1.3, set up for clear coat, so we'll move on to them later on. So that's what we've got to get on. We've got all the bits set up. I'll drop you in time lapses, guys, like before, talk you through as much as I can along the way. Enjoy the video. Don't forget, if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, and drop us a thumbs up, guys. It does help the channel grow. As the views are going down, we've got to get these views up and get people seeing this content. So yeah, enjoy the video. See you in the first time. Out. two little time lapses you see me clean the panels off we blew them off tack ragged them down ready for the base and then i dropped all you see was with one coat of base coat i've got these three coats so they're all colored up nice now and it was when i pulled the color out because i said there was two different shades on the panel it's gone more to what i thought was the original color as well so it was that color so they're both colored up nice we've got all the edges all the way around on both panels so they're all covered up nice three coats on these so we're going to let these cure right down let them go off and probably two hours i'll leave this just let that base coat cure right down and then we're going to go in and just flat these over again and then we can start dropping in the 59 on here do the airbrush work on there sort all that out and then move on to the clear coat stages and we'll be done so I'll see you in a bit when these dried off. I'm gonna grab a coffee. I'll see you in the next step. As we're moving on to the next stage, I've gone in with a gray scotch bright. That's all these needed. I've gray scotched them all the way over because these have cured down really nice. And then I've just gone in with some panel wipe, panel wiped over the panel. So they're all keyed up again, panel wiped over. And now we're gonna drop the 59 on here now this is a two-part stencil so we've got a drop shadow as well so we're going to drop this one on first i'm going to mask a hinge here and then just do a mask outline up to the edge of this 
So when we remove the 59, I'll have a little L shape that I can then locate this one up to the masking, put another piece along here, flip this one over and then flip that over the top to, dot the, to drop the drop shadow on. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to level the 59 up. We're going to use the PS290. Mix some white base coat up. Drop the 59 in white. And then we're going to tone back some of this base coat. We're going to mix it with a little bit of black. We'll darken it off. And then we'll do a dark, darker version of this on the drop shadow. And then we can move on to the clear coat stages. So I'll stick you on a time lapse. We'll get this 59 in. See you in a bit. There you go guys that's the numbers down on these panels and that's it for today's video i was going to clear coat these but it is really heated up in here now and it is way too hot to clear coat especially with the actual activator that i've got it's fast and this will just it'll go down too quick i want it a bit cooler so i can drop the clear coat down don't want to rush these but we've dropped the 59 in and i use the original base coat got some black kept adding increments of black in and just toned it down so it's a nice subtle drop shadow that blends to this color really nice so that's gone down really nice and clean on both of the numbers and it's the right font for the actual year of the bike it's that old school font i think it just looks really racy and nice so they're good for clear coat <clears throat> which will be in the last part on these Lambretta panels. I hope you've enjoyed the one and two so far, and I hope you can join me in the next one. Still getting over COVID. <coughs> Chest is absolutely killing. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.